Are you studying a play or a piece of drama which your teacher called a tragedy, but you're not sure what this means? The genre of a tragedy isn't what you think it means. It doesn't always involve death. This genre has five key elements taken from Aristotle, which we will summarize for you in a nutshell. So let's get started. Now, the Greek philosopher Aristotle, writing about the theater of his times, defined a tragedy as a genre of drama, distinct from comedy or history in his book Poetics, which was written in 350 BC. In Aristotle's own words, he states, a tragedy is a form of drama exciting the emotions of pity and fear. Its action should be a single and complete, presenting a reversal of fortune involving persons renowned or of superior attainments, and it should be written in poetry embellished with every kind of artistic impressions. Now, to break this down into very simple language, essentially, a tragedy should have these following elements, and we can summarize them as five main components. The first element is a tragedy features a hero of high-born noble status. This hero has what we call hamartia, which is a fatal flaw. For instance, this hero could be greedy. They could be ambitious. They could have arrogance. They could have hubris. Now, this consequently, this hamartia consequently leads the hero to commit a mistaken action or a series of mistaken actions that result in a reversal of their fortune, what Aristotle called peripetia. Consequently, as a result of the hero's downfall, they, in a moment of self-reflection, recognize their actions have caused their downfall. This is what Aristotle termed anagnorosis. Finally, the hero's punishment, as we are watching this unfold as a drama, leads the audience to feel sorry for them. This causes a purge of emotion and fear within the audience, which Aristotle termed a catharsis. So that's all when it comes to understanding the different elements of a tragedy. Do bear in mind that a tragedy does sometimes involve the death of the hero. However, it doesn't always involve this happening. It can be a form of punishment. It can be them falling from some form of grace, which makes it a tragedy. Now, if you need more information or study worksheets for English, do make sure you check out our website, www.firstrateteachers.com. But also do bear in mind that we are massively active on TikTok and Instagram. So make sure you follow us for study tips, model answers and revision cheat worksheets. Thank you so much for listening.